Hi, I am Naeem Akram Malik. I am a senior test automation architect. Recently, I got laid off because apparently my role was made redundant by artificial intelligence. So I thought the best thing in my time off would be to learn more about artificial intelligence and to help other people as well who are facing job related problems because of artificial intelligence. So the first thing which I did as a part of this activity was asking chat GPT about what should I do and chat GPT told me about Anthropics Prompt Engineering Interactive Tutorial which is available in multiple formats. The highly recommended format even from Anthropic is the one based on the Google Sheets. You just need to generate an API key from the Anthropic and you can simply use it. So in this video I am going to record my experience and I am going to share it with you. I am going to share what I learned about prompt engineering and I would love to answer your question and I would love to learn from your experiences. So please keep watching and this is going to be a multiple video series. Please subscribe to my channel and like my videos and let us work together to secure our future in the face of AI. Let us learn together to become better professionals and secure our jobs. Let us help our friends. Do share this video, these videos with your friends so that they can also join in and all of us can like uh, be in a good place together. Now let us get on with the actual tutorial. So you can see on the screen I have opened the Anthropics Prompt Engineering Interactive Tutorial GitHub repository. This repository recommends us to use the Google Sheets based tutorial which also use the Google Sheets extension provided by Anthropic. And you can see if I open the link given in the repository a sheet will open and I can simply go to the file menu to create a copy of uh, this tutorial. I will do that and I will open the newly created copy and I am going to install the Anthropic extension in my Google Sheets to proceed with this tutorial. You can simply go to the extensions menu and click the cloud for sheets uh, menu item and then install the cloud for sheets plugin and provide it all the necessary access permissions. It is going to take only a few minutes depending on your internet speed. Once the cloud for sheets is installed open the extensions menu again and uh, go to the open sidebar option. Here you can provide the Anthropic API key through the settings UI. And after this let us go to the intro and table of contents sheet. This sheet provides a course introduction and the goals of the course and that it is intended to provide you with a comprehensive and step by step understanding of how to engineer optimal prompts within Claude. After completing this course, you will be able to master the basic structure of good prompt, recognize common failure modes and learn the 80-20 techniques. This course is useful for both developer audience and non-developer audience. The course structure is given below that each lesson has got some descriptions and some commands and some practical things to do and then there is an example playground and after that there are lesson exercises. The course is divided into three types of lessons beginner, intermediate and advanced. In the first video I am going to get you started with the first lesson which is in the beginner section. This video series is going to contain all of the lessons 
from the anthropic prompt engineering interactive tutorial i am going to open the lesson number 1 the lesson number 1 is basic prompt structure and here you can see that the lesson description is saying that the cloud for sheets extension offers several functions that you can use to call cloud one such function is cloud messages which is built to reflect the messages api structure so this entire tutorial is based on the messages api of the cloud the functionality of the cloud for sheets extension is exposed through a variety of cloud methods or a cloud functions which can be used as formulas cloud messages can take several parameters in the following order first of all your prompt which will be in double quotes because it is going to be strings so you need to put your prompts in quotations inside cells and then the model version one important thing is that in the current version of the extension cloud for sheets you don't need to specify the model name you can omit the model name you will see a demonstration moving forward the yellowish cells in the c column represents the input prompts and the bluish cells in the e column represent the response from the cloud if you click on the bluish cells you will see in the formula bar on the top the cloud messages function is being called this is a function from the cloud for sheets extension the parameters of this call are first of all a cell which contains the input prompt here since the cell is being referenced a pair of double quotes is not needed around the cell reference but next up is the name of the output cell which is prefixed with the sheet name and then there is a temperature which is currently not very important to understand don't worry about it yet the cloud response column is showing an error i later on figured out that i needed to change the formula slightly i clicked the cell in the sheet and then i went up to the formula bar to change the formula i see that this formula does not contain the system parameter which is clearly mentioned in the description it must be some error by someone but let us uh, add the system with an empty set of double quotes please note that you must include the word user colon at the beginning of your prompt and voila we got a response from cloud i am going to make the same changes for the next cell which is e27 i will just copy the formula from the cell number e25 and paste it in the e27 and change the input cell reference and i will get the response and repeating the same exercise once more is going to clarify your concepts about calling the cloud messages function let us go to the exercises sheet for this lesson and solve the problems that we need to solve as an exercise to solve the exercise questions in this section we need to change the values in the prompt column for example in the prompt column i have written 
user colon how are you today and when I will input the correct value in this column then the response from the cloud will cause the column on the right which is currently in the red to become green alright so to do this I am going to simply input a prompt which is please count to three please note that you must include the word user colon at the beginning of your prompt sounds extra but it is the way the API works and wait for a response from Claude once the right column becomes green it means our answer is correct that was simple and the next exercise the next exercise teaches us how to use the system prompt one of the cells contains the system prompt which is going to set the context of our question and this is going to make the Claude behave differently so when the system tells Claude that you are a science teacher for grade 5 the Claude's response is different as you can see it is given a response in bullets so how can we change it the cell on the bottom contains the actual user section of the prompt so over here I'm going to say you are a three-year-old child and by doing this the method call to the Claude is going to be changed and this one also needs fixing so I'm going to go here and I'm going to remove the temperature parameter and see if it works yes it worked the response has completely changed so now you can see that the system prompt is a different thing it is separate from the main prompt but it can have a major impact on your answer so this is how context works in case of Claude congratulations you made it to the end of this video it shows your commitment towards learning artificial intelligence I would highly recommend you to go and try the anthropic tutorial on your own because that is going to serve as a reinforcement for the learning related to the stuff which you watched here I have created or actually I have recorded I have recorded multiple videos for this series but I am going to publish them one by one over the few days or maybe a couple of weeks because I will be busy submitting job applications and taking interviews so if you have any job leads for me please feel free to let me know I will be very thankful and I will be welcome if you could refer me to a job while I'm looking for a job as a senior test automation engineer or a test automation architect a test automation team lead and if you have any questions related to this video or Claude AI, the Claude API which I am showing, please feel free to ask any questions in the comment section below. You can reach me out anytime and do like the video, subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video. Stay tuned. Another one is coming. Bye.